What's up YouTube? It's battery maintenance time. So here we are, this is my uh, new workshop space. Well actually it's old, but I finally got around to cleaning it out. And I got my uh, Aqua Edge 80 amp hour deep cycle battery. This is one of a bank of uh, six lead acid batteries that I use for charging model aircraft. And I'm also developing a micro solar uh, system around. So you, you might notice in looking at my battery over here, uh, I'll zoom in on it, there's just tons of crap on the top of it. Uh, all of this corrosion here, and that's a really bad sign. That means that there might be something going on within the battery that is keeping it from charging properly. And as you'll see here over on my charger, Battery sitting at a comfortable 14.77 uh, volts, which is significantly high for a lead acid battery of this type, a six cell lead acid battery, which would normally equal uh, about 12.8 volts fully charged. So what are we doing here? Well, it's a special process that you don't quite often do with deep cycle batteries, but it's very beneficial if you want to prolong the lifespan of one of these guys. Um, in order to make sure that your battery lasts a really long time, you first need to understand what's going on inside. This battery, and if I shake it, you can almost hear it sloshing around. Inside this battery, there are multiple plates of lead uh, submerged in sulfuric acid. And one of the things that you have to do frequently is top up the water level in there, dilute the sulfuric acid a little bit to make sure that none of the plates are exposed. And when you do that, you open these vents and you'll notice that inside the battery you have many small lead plates. Let me show you what those look like. Alright, so here we are looking in the vent hole, the lead acid battery, and if you look very carefully in there, that little gray bit uh, is a lead plate. Now why is it so important to keep those plates clean? Well that's very simple. The whole operating principle of this battery is that the sulfuric acid acts as an electrolyte and needs to make an ion transfer between the two plates in the battery. And what will sometimes happen if these batteries are left at a very low state of charge is that uh, sulfites, uh, compounds of sulfur and oxygen will build up on the lead plates and they do not conduct electricity so they lower the uh, amount that you can charge your lead acid battery, they lower its capacity they lower its cranking amps and if they're left on there long enough they will never be able to be recovered your battery is completely dead this is about uh, I'd say about pretty close to a hundred bucks worth of battery and it would be completely toast if I let the plate sulfite so the reason that this is sitting at 14.77 volts right now is we're doing what's called a saturation charge. There is some sulfite that every time you charge it builds up on those layers. And also every time you push energy into the battery you create heat. You create heat and because there's no such thing as a perfectly efficient energy transfer there's always some loss to entropy some of the hydrogen in the sulfuric acid is going to bubble. It's going to form bubbles. And when it bubbles off the plate, it's going to break that sulfite off and it's going to dissolve right back into the acid. So that is what we're trying to do. We are actually intentionally overcharging this battery just enough to knock the chemical sulfite off the plates. There's one other thing that you can do to uh, remove the sulfates from the battery. And in fact, I mean sulfates. I've been using sulfites interchangeably, and that is technically incorrect, so I apologize for that. But uh, there is one more thing that you can use to remove sulfates from the battery, and that is a device called a desulfator. Now, uh, good computer chargers like this and like my Cell Pro Multi 4. Uh, are designed to automatically modulate the voltage levels and the uh, current levels that are going through the battery to 
basically do an okay job desulfating them on their own. But if you're using a standard battery charger, you can get a device called a desulfator. Now, before you get your hopes up about restoring completely dead batteries, they do an okay job. Now, what they do is they connect between the positive and the negative, which sounds totally heretical, right? That's a short circuit. You can't do that. Well, not really, because what they do is they're a little box, almost like this charger here, and they send, they charge up, and they send a pulse, high frequency AC into the battery to develop just enough bubbles immediately on the plates, bubbles of hydrogen, to knock off the sulfate. Now, I can't speak to whether they really work or not. Um, they cannot remove the hard sulfate. They can most likely remove the soft sulfate, but instead of having to spend 50, 100, 150 dollars on a complicated um, desulfator system, you can simply overcharge the battery very slightly. You won't damage it. The extra energy that you're putting in will go into making hydrogen bubbles, and if you open the vents up, you can actually see that process occurring. You can see little bubbles, almost like uh, right after opening a bottle of Coke, it starts to bubble up a little bit. And that's exactly what it looks like on the inside of the battery. And if you give it a quick tap, it'll release some of those hydrogen bubbles. Basically, these two systems are doing exactly the same job. When those bubbles form between, let's say, the sulfates and the plate, they're going to expand and break the sulfate off. Now when the sulfate is floating in the acid, obviously this is sulfuric acid, nothing is going to stay solid in there for very long. So it's going to do one of two things. It's going to drop to the bottom and then dissolve, or it's going to dissolve before it reaches the bottom and you're back to square one and you don't have any issues. So a properly maintained lead acid battery can give you, can give you years of performance. Uh, if you're like me and you don't heavily discharge them, you don't use these things for like starting cars or running trolling motors, you just use them to charge the occasional airplane battery, uh, run a power inverter here and there, uh, this and the other thing. But it is very, very important if you want to protect your investment, especially if you've got a bank like I do of about half a dozen of these, uh, to spend the 24, 48, 36 hours that it takes to put a really slow charge on one of these just to make sure that uh, it stays healthy and it gives you everything you need. So don't forget if you like this video to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll be back with some more uh, lead acid battery tips because pretty soon I'm going to be installing my micro solar system and when I install that I'll make sure to bring a camera up there and show you guys exactly what's going on. So until next time